Hello, welcome to Econometrics Melody. This is the fourth video on miscellaneous series in Istita. In miscellaneous series in Istita, we'll cover some of the basic, general, and handy topics in Istita. This will be more of a practical session. Let us clear the data set in the memory, if any, and let us also clear the output or result screen. Data our observations to 21. Data container for 21 observations are ready. This tutorial is about four values loop. Four values loop is going to accept only the numerical ranges. It does not accept the string or any other list. Let us it by the help of some example for values. Let us practice it. In fact, for values i, let us assign i equals to one to thousand. We are going to create thousand variables, and we will name the variables by this range as well. The number that we have applied to the range. So generate a variable a and take the assignment take the value from i as well so we'll get a1 to all the way to 8000 and this is equals to i the value will also the value of the respective variables will be from 1 to 1000 and if we look at it so a1 the value of i is 1 at first i is 2 it and after and so on all the way to 1000 So this is how our our values work and it, there are a couple of different ways how we can specify this range and we are going to see some of them let us again clear everything clear the output window set our observations to 21 and then generate a variable b equals to zero and run all of them so we get b is equals to zero and let us try some other variation of specifying this range so this is another way by mentioning the difference and all the way to 21 and let us run the this loop so let us replace the value of b replace we are going to replace the value of b is equals to let us say i this value of this assignment i and then in again i i position so what does it do let us see first of all how does this work what is the value of i one and add the difference of two the first value is one plus two is three plus two is five and so on we are going to create the odd numbers beginning from one to twenty one so in the respective position we will get the same values one eight one odd position three fifth position five and so on now let me copy this let us save our time let me copy this and try another variation of how we can specify the ranges and this is also going to be similar fashion let us write 5 to 21 so how does this work the value of i is 1 at first then after 5 at the second and in the third value is determined by the difference of this 5 minus 1 is 4 and we add 4 to this so after that it will increase by 4 so 1, 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 4 is 13, so on and so forth. Now let us see it. Let me run it all at once. And we get this result. 1, 5 and so on. At the position 1, we get the value 1. At the position 5, we get the value 5. And the difference after this, the difference is at 4. So 5 plus 4 is 9, so on and so forth. This is how our four values is going to work. And let me specify another way of writing the range as well. So another way also works in similar fashion now let me write six and another way of the format is by spacing specifying the semicolon so the working principle is similar the first value of i is one the second value is six so after that the difference of these two numbers five so it will increase by five after this value six plus five eleven eleven plus five is sixteen sixteen plus five is twenty one at the respective position we get this values so one six eleven so on and so forth now let us see another function let us uh it is not functional it's called a command uh, labels of let us write b so what will this yield if we write labels of any command labels of any, any variable we will get the unique values of that variable so the unique values are 0 1 6 11 16 and 21 now let us see an example 
So this is an example wherein we have the data on three forms for 13 years and annual payment. So there are multiple payments for the year. So let us compress it and uh, let us double the form and year and we will see what are the multiple payments in our respective years. 2019 11 these are the three years and each form form one to three they are picking making three payments in 2009 two payments in 2010 and two payments in 2011 this is a hypothetical data so these numbers can be any irregular payments can also occur in the real world now this is further clear if you look at the data editor once we sort form and year we see the same result in 2009 form one is making three payments Form 1 in 2010 is making two payments. Form 1 in 2011 is making two payments. So on. Now let us see labels of form. So how many unique forms are there? There are three forms. So how many unique years are there? There are three unique years. And we will actually loop by the assigning I to be these three years. And the labels of pay, there are this unique values or this variable pay. So our goal is to identify the total payment per year by the respective form. So how do we achieve that goal? For that, we are going to assign for we are, we are going to use four values. We are going to assign i as the number of years. There are three years, and we are going to create three variables for per three variables for respective years. So i i is equals to year pi means p two thousand nine to two thousand eleven will be generated. And it will calculate the total payment for the respective year across the forms so this is a very simple one and let me execute this and it will be clear let me extend this so we had three variables form year and pay we started off with these variables and due to this loop we got these three variables so p and we have assigned i over here so i and the i takes the range 2009 to 11 so 2009 to 11 and total of payment for respective year if year is equals to i means this will work for if year is equals to 2009 2010 and 2011 so for 2009 this is the total 100 plus 80 plus 40 so 220 and in 2010 for form one this is 270 and for 2000 11 for form 1 it is 250 so this loop works in a similar fashion and it has calculated these values okay. we are going to use another loop so what we are going to do again we are taking the value of i equals 2009 to 11 we we'll run this three times and we're going to create another value called p and we have assigned this i so p 2009 to p 2011 will be generated by taking the maximum value of pi so what is the pi for 2009 whether we take maximum or minimum value for the respective form it is 220 for the form 2 in 2009 it is 210 for form 3 in 2009 it is 1180 so basically this remaining spaces of the respective form will be filled by these values for the respective years and this is quite obvious once we say this new variables three new variables so they are generated so this is the annual payment 2009 for form one up to this and from here to 210 it is the annual payment of form second in 2009 and 1180 is the annual payment by form three third in 2009 similarly we can explain the values of these variables as well so ultimately we have derived the annual payment by each form now let us clear those variables that with the missing va values so if we run this command levels of a 2009 so what are the annual payments made by three forms this will be clear so l e v e l s So this is the annual payment 2009 210 220 and 180 respectively by form one two and three and what is the annual payment in 2010 
let us calculate this so it is 14270 and 1200 and let us work it out for 2000 5 and h12 so for values loop is useful only for the numerical values or numerical range it does not take or support or it's not compatible with the this string or any other list this is very helpful thank you very much for your time thank you very much econometrics mallory